Welcome to step six of making a top-down adventure game in Pico 8. In this step, we'll add an inventory overlay so players know how many keys they have. If you just started Pico 8, you'll need to load your game. Once it's loaded, hit escape and we'll get started. When the player holds a button, we want an overlay to show up that shows how many keys the player has. Let's make a new code tab and add a function that holds the code to show the inventory. We'll call this tab inventory code. We just need one function called show inventory. The first thing we need to do is figure out where the top left corner of our inventory overlay will be. 40 pixels over and 8 pixels down is a good position, but if we just straight up use 40 pixels over and 8 pixels down, that would work fine on the first map screen, but as soon as we walk to a new map screen, the camera would move too and the inventory would no longer show up on the same screen as the player. If you remember in our map code on code tab 1, we always save the top left map tile coordinates in map X and map Y. So let's make use of those to figure out where to draw our inventory. We just need to multiply map X and map Y by 8 and we'll get the pixel coordinate we need. Then we can add 40 pixels over and 8 down to that. Now we need to draw a rectangle that starts at inv x and inv y and goes to inv x plus 48 and inv y plus 24. We'll use color 0, black, for the rectangle. This will make a rectangle 48 pixels wide and 24 pixels high. Then we'll print inventory in white, color 7, across the top middle of that rectangle. Then under that, we'll print how many keys the player has in orange, color 9. The dot dot tells Pico8 to join, quote, keys and the number of keys into one long thing to print. So if p.keys is storing the number 2, it will print out keys 2. Now we have a function to display the inventory, but we need to actually run this function when the player holds a key down. So go back to code tab 0 and we'll add a line of code to the draw function. This line of code says that if the player is holding the X button, run the show inventory function. Very simple. You can use shift X to make the X glyph. Let's see if it works. Let's save the game with control S and then run it with control R. So here we are. Let's hold X and see if we have any keys. And it works. We can see we have no keys. Now let's pick up a key and see if it changes. We should have a key, and there it is. We can see we have one key. You can go pick up the second key now. And there we go. Now we have two keys. So we have keys, but no doors. In the next step, we'll add doors that can be unlocked with a key. 